Hey YouTube, Andy here. This is just going to be a really quick video um, on upgrading the SSD in a Lenovo Yoga 730 13-inch. Uh, so I've been planning to upgrade. I got the very bare-bones model of this laptop uh, with the 128 gig SSD, which is not much space, but I knew I could upgrade it. So I've been holding off on that, uh, but with a little bit of luck today, one of my coworkers actually gave me his old SSD. He just built a new machine, which is a 512 gigabyte uh, Samsung Evo 960 NVMe SSD, which should work very nicely in the Yoga 730. So I'm gonna go ahead and move the camera down so you guys can take a look, and we're gonna get started. All right, so we've got the camera in position, we've got the laptop laid out, we've got our SSD. Let me go ahead and get this open. All right, and so for the sake of making this easier, I have already removed the screws from this. Um, and I'm not gonna put the screws back on just to show you. I feel like that's, uh, I don't know, probably make the video better, but I'm not doing it. They are Torx T4 screws, by the way, which is a pretty small Torx driver. It's actually the smallest I had. Uh, I've seen some complaints of people like getting into this laptop who don't have a small enough screwdriver. Um, if you need small screwdrivers, if you do work on small electronics, get a little set like this. They've got a whole bunch of them, uh, all the different sizes. I think I paid $7 for that at Walmart. So Torx T4 screws, after you unscrew it, I did have a little trouble getting, getting into it. I have a couple of plastic pry tools Unfortunately, they did not do a whole lot for me on this. Uh, they're a little beat up anyway. Low quality, part of the $7 kit. So, you know, you pay, you get what you pay for to an extent, but screwdrivers work all right. Uh, but I did end up scratching that a little bit. Uh, yeah, you can see it's a nasty chip. I had to use the flathead from my little pack of screwdrivers. Uh, but yeah, so we've got the top off. I had to get in there. You want to get in from the front of the laptop. And I think right in the center, you sort of want to put pressure down. I wish I had like a stronger plastic pry tool. That would have been better, but hey, you get what you get. Uh, so here's our SSD right over here on the left. There was a sticker covering the screw right here, a little Lenovo sticker, which I stuck to the screwdriver case on the side, um, which I'm gonna put back on, because presumably that's for warranty purposes. But this is a Phillips head screw, so we are going to go ahead and get started on this guy. And that screw was in there pretty tight. Alright. Screw. Undone. Let's pop. This is actually the first time I've changed a, an M2 SSD. But we yank it out. I've changed RAM and SATA SSDs many times. So it's all about, you know, getting it in there and using proper amount of force and yeah I think that is in place nicely maybe a little further in because the screw hole isn't quite cut totally open but no I think that's right so there's our screw for that let's go ahead and pop in the screw get it on the screwdriver I am just having trouble. It wouldn't be a YouTube video if I didn't, you know, have a little bit of trouble with something simple. So there we go. Screwed into place. Um, let's see if I can get the sticker back on while we're on camera. And then that is going to be it. Got to be careful not to lose my screws that I put in the screwdriver case. Get our sticker back on the SSD. And it's a perfect crime. It's like nothing ever happened uh, except for a 512 gig pretty high performance SSD showed up. So by the way, uh, there aren't a lot of videos showing the inside of this laptop. So here's a pretty good look if you just want to check out the internals on the Lenovo Yoga 730 13 inch. So I've got a couple of cooling fans, which excites me because I'm thinking about getting an eGPU for this guy, except there's only eight gigs of RAM and I have a pretty beefy desktop that can be upgraded down the road. So I probably will just leave it alone uh, and not play games on it. But anyway, that's the inside of the laptop. There's the new SSD. And hey, that was pretty easy. How long is this video? This is gonna be about five minutes. So easy peasy, five minutes. I've never done an M2 SSD before. 
And this laptop was actually not that easy to get into. So if you've got a quality plastic pry tool, um, or if you're not impatient like me and just grab whatever you can get to get into it, a flathead screwdriver, you may want to get order like a quality, you know, scratch, non-scratch pry tool to get into this because it was pretty tough to get in. There wasn't adhesive, but they were tightly pushed together and it was tough to get wedged in there with these really crappy uh, plastic ones. But that is it. We've got the new SSD, so I hope this helps. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, leave a comment and I'll try to get you an answer.